I lived down the road from Grenfell Tower, so on the night of the fire, straight away, me and many people from the area came out trying to be useful. It was people in our community, there was children in there, and you can't help them. So, like, I feel a lot of people have, carry a lot of survivor's guilt in the community. I believe art is a healthy way of healing, having a space to express yourself, release your emotions, and that's what I do. For me, it's important to pass them tools on to other people that can make use of it. I've been facilitating creative writing workshops with children. It's just making sure children in the area have a healthy outlet and they're able to express themselves and they're not holding things in. No child should have to go through this, like, to experience this on their own doorstep. I think it's important, a year on, for myself and other artists to ensure, like, we control the narrative. For me, it's just updating people on what is actually happening on the ground, because a lot of people have forgotten. They don't see the tower every day like we do. We can't forget. You can't get it out of your head. One year once it's the fire, I've written a poem, so people around the country don't forget what's happened until we get justice. So many tears have fallen since that nightmare of a night. So many entire families left the face of this earth. So many fathers lost their wives and children. So many beautiful children were made orphans. Over 70 lives lost and unavoidable, pre-war and flammable. 18 children accounted for died in their own home. 18 bright lights that no longer breathe life. Did they tell you the aftermath feels like remnants of a war zone? PTSD on our streets, therapy centre registers almost full. The tower visible for miles, a 360-degree constant reminder. Will our community ever truly recover from this trauma? A crime scene a year on, tower only partially covered. Did they tell you how many wake in the morning to close their blinds? Haunted by memories of neighbours crying out for mercy before they died. How many can see the remains of the tower from their windows? and on their walk home every day outside. My heart bleeds for the gaping hole and ripple of pain in our community. When, when the, the place, place we're supposed to feel safest is in our home. Did they tell you how the community pulled together, families and neighbours comforting each other? One year later, standing together through the inquiry. Children healing together. Men and boys able to show emotion to each other. My heart bleeds for the gaping hole and ripple of pain left in our community. One year later, hundreds are restless, heartbroken, distressed, pacing, from London to Eritrea, Egypt, Morocco, Colombia, waiting for a verdict. For families' heartfelt tributes to their loved ones to not be in vain. One year later, we are still waiting, waiting for survivors and neighbours to be housed. Waiting for cladding to be removed from hundreds of buildings, Waiting for arrests and charges to be pressed. Waiting for those responsible to stand in court. Waiting for truth. Waiting for justice. Waiting for accountability. Waiting for our community and heartbroken families to begin to find peace. 